<clears throat> hey, so learning how to use the knotter tool. I ordered this one on Amazon. It's very inexpensive. Although I used to get one from Germany and it lasted me like 14 years and then these seem not to last as long. So it's pretty simple. I already have my thread knotted. You can buy silk cord or any cord with an, a beading needle really thin already on it. Um, I buy spools of silk typically and um, attach my own needle, but that's a different video. I uh, got little tiny turquoise, probably halolite dyed that I found while cleaning up this morning. So you, be, you put your bead on, you pull it all the way down to the end of your knot, and then you wrap it around two fingers, tuck under, and pull through. So now you just have a knot on two of your fingers. Then I take my beading tool, or, and I put it under all of it. It's under everything. I actually secure it on my body, and I pull the knot on to there, and then you pull it tight. I use my thumb, and I just kind of move my thumb around. I also take, pretty sure this little Y thing is called a yoke. I go to the other side of that, and I pull it. So the whole idea is to get the knot right up next to your bead. That's what makes it look professional. And then you can put it into that little yoke thing and pull. Once again, I use my thumb and then you've got this little nifty button. You push it up bam, and you're there. And you can always knock it down a little bit. So let's try it again. Take a bead through, pull it all the way down, remember beading is a relaxing thing and it's really great to do a breath cycle in between each one, so it makes it very calming, wrap it around two fingers and pull through, so now I just have it on my, and my beads are hanging on the inside, I come under all of the cord, I pull it into my body because I find that is how I keep it the most stable. And then once I have it done, then I'm going to go from one side of the little yokey thing. If it's not the yoke, sorry, but that's just what I call it. To the other side, I tend to make things up. And then I pull it into the middle, right into the center. Then I use my thumb, pop, pop, pop and then push the knot right up against the bead. So you can see that neither of those beads are going anywhere. Let's do it again. Pull the bead on. And make sure you're pulling it right up next to your knot. Okay, over two fingers, tuck under pull through, take your tool, go under all of them, pull it into your body so you have something to stabilize on while you let your fingers out of the knot. And then one side, pull to the other side, come into the middle of your tool, little slot, push with your thumb. You're in control of all of what happens with the tool. If you take it slow, then there's three. None of them are moving. Let's do another. Pull right in. I like to push it down a little bit just to make sure. I have a lot of strands of cord. You don't need that many, but you do want to make sure that you have enough cord that when you make a knot, that the bee doesn't slip through the knot because then they move around and that's not good. So we're going to go over two fingers, pull through, take your tool, tuck under, 
pull up against your body. Now pull it tight. So here I am with my knot around. Now I come to the other side before I put it in the middle. Then I come up into the middle and that moves the bead up onto this center pin. Still working it with my thumb before I push up with that same thumb to move the knot right off of the tool onto the bead. Mm -hmm. Voila. Let's do it again. And I believe like this tool is just a little bit easier. I guess in ancient times they used a pin or a really strong stick, just something. So if you just wanted to use a needle, you could just make the knot around the needle and then use your hands. But this certainly makes it very easy, very easy and very rhythmic. So I've made my knot around my two fingers and I slide under, slide. Yeah, so now the, beat, the knot is completely on the, this back pin. Other side, then I come up into the middle, push my thumb, and then I'm gonna take my thumb and slowly push the bead off. We'll do one more. Two, four, five, yeah, six. Oops, I'm used to making a knot. So there we go. We take a bead, we string it on, deep breath, wrap it around two fingers, tuck it in, take your tool, put it under all of the knots, pull it in, and now I am all next to it. So I pull it tight. I come around to the other side, back to the middle, push it once, and then we're done. If you get a one, like I think that one kind of looks crooked, you can take your knots and pull it apart a little bit. And so, that's just the beginning idea of how to use this knotting tool. Super simple. And, you know, typically if you're making a necklace or a bracelet, you're going to want to keep in mind either to put an attachment here, like a little, you know, a little end cap or something that you can hook onto a clasp, or leave yourself a lot of extra string so that you can do something with it. Okay, bye.